hello students myself randwanti in a previous class we have discussed the about the experiment in a screw jack efficiency now we have to discuss about your shear separators young modulus shear separators from this experiment from the aim of the experiment is here find the young modulus of elasticity from this so young modulus of elasticity means what you have to find what amount of elasticity or deflection is occur in a wire or anything beam or anything else there is a elastic limit in every body every matter there is some elastic limit some elastic limit will occur if you compare a scale also there is a some elastic limit so how much of elastic limit it will be occur after a moment it will breaking so you have to find the deflection or change in length of this elasticity so from this you have to find the yeah, young's of modulus of elasticity depend on a hook's law so young's modulus of elasticity is here stress is directly proportional to strain means stress means the rigid force act on a rigid body area that is your stress and strain is your change in length by original length so the ratio is your young's modulus of elasticity so you have to find your young's modulus apparatus from young's modulus time so going through this aim you have to find what are the apparatus required so first of all apparatus required is your young's modulus apparatus this is your young's modulus apparatus look at here this is young's modulus of apparatus so in this young modulus of operator there is a spirit level in the middle which will indicate that middle position is a bubble is indicate that this is in a center position or equilibrium position if the bubble is move right side or left side it will create some deflection there is a under that you have to look at here this is a circular bundle is there circular threading is there which will create a rotational threading view of this when there is a deflection occur it will take upward or if your deflection is on a downward side then you take downward if you putting a load from this it will circulate this this is a division of 100 division is there this is your main scale this is a one scale circular scale so there is a division is there which is occur this is a 1 mm of division this is 100 circulation this is also a pitch of 0.01 which how to find least sorry which means sorry that is a least count so least count is your pitch by 100 number of division is of a circular scale so circular scale division is your 100 there is a 1 1 by 100 is your 0.01 is your pitch this is the pitch reading is your 0.01 is your least count so from this you have to find the least count for observing this shear separator you have to hang in in a two wire you have to find a deflection of two wire of equal distance means the wire of two wires are distance are equal you holding it in a through a holder and putting some load here after putting a load it will be some deflected here so measuring this we have need apparatus are one is a shear separators and another one is a two wires of same distance and a scale and a dead weight load to so measuring some loads so you have to deflect that there is a some load put up a load some in other another side to so put this in another side and the put it in another side means one side you put load and the other side will put the load deflection and to measuring the y diameter you need micrometer so these are the apparatus required so from above that you have to find the experiment so putting a load dead load here i put a dead load here on the one side that is also in a middle position the speed level in a middle position look at that and putting in the side a load it is using a middle position means this is in a equilibrium position is there if you putting some load here there is a deflection occur if you put 50 gram load there is no deflection in 50 gram load put another 50 gram
look at here there is a circular division which changes here this is in the zero position it is now positioning of 30 it will raise upward look at this if you put another 50 gram Now it changes reading 30 to 85, I think. If I put 200 gram, okay. look at here the bubble in a middle position. The bubble in a middle position when you putting the load there is a deflection of the right side or left side if you getting the right side or left side then you have to rotate the pitch so the circular scale and you will correct it in a middle position if you putting some load here for one end There is a deflection in here. Second, which will be vibrate this in the left hand side. Sorry, right hand side. It will go to the right hand side. If you just rotate into way. This will position as a middle position. Look at this. This will be in a position of middle. From here onwards, you look at that there is a circular reading of getting this for raising of it is 0 to 10 mm is here there up to, up to 2 mm. 2 radius circular radius in the getting this and the circular reading is going through this division of this is a 50 means this is a 55 56 or 57 is there when we are putting a load of 150 gram of a dead weight load so in this way you have to putting these values raising your load from one side and look at the reading it will take reflected from another side to correct it you have to circulate this pitch pitch sorry circular scale and it will be correct into middle position and note down the reading This is in the middle portion. Clear pitch is evolution of 3 mm. So, 3 of the division. In this way, putting the different different types of load, and you have calculated different different of level of experiment and calculate the length of the wire through 
this this is your approximately one meter length so how much amount of area is there you have to find this total length is there you have to find the length and through micrometer you have to find the dia of the wire The dia of the wire is your division is your five. The pitch scale is your five. This is total radius division is your fifty, and this is zero point five mm. One is your so this is your pitch scale, and this is your main scale reading. So zero point two by zero point sorry zero point two by fifty. You have to find the zero point zero one mm. This is also the reading of zero point zero one mm, and this is getting one mm of dia. So this is your least count of zero point zero one mm. You are getting one mm there. In this way, you observe the and we find out from the formula of Young's modulus of density. So in this way, forward way, you are taking loading of the weight. You have to find the pitch circular and the position of the spirit level. You have to find the circular pitch and the deflection. Same way, you have to put up the load on loading the load. Then you have to find. Same thing. You have to circulate this, and you have to find the obturation. Consider the loading section and unloading section of data. If there is a same thing is open, then it will be error. Without error, the experiment should be occur. So in this way, you have to find the Young's modulus of elasticity. Yes, sir. From your above experiment, we already find the value of your obturation is taken by this tabulation. That is, your one is a serial number, the load giving loads, and the loading unloading. First of all, you load it, then after unload that. In this way, you have to find the mean of the value of x plus y loading plus unloading value here. Then that is your extension in mm. This is your zero point zero mm, zero point eight five, one point seven nine five, two four, two point four six five. In this way, you find the extension of the wire. That is the Young's modulus formula MGL pi r square L. That is the Young's modulus of formula. We have to find the value here. How will we get that? The first observation we are getting zero. The load is your zero point four five. Now loading is your 0.5 radiation in a circular radiation. The total value is your mean is 0.475, and the extension is your zero. So under the extension of zero, the value should be this. After onward, when extension occur, we will find the value through Young's modulus. That is MGL pi r square L, where is M is your mass, G is your gravitational acceleration, L is your length of the wire, and R is your radius of the wire, and L is your extension length. So extension length is also you can write del L B also you can write this. So this is the value of mass is given 0.5 here, 0.5. G is 9.81, and the length is your 1 meter. Already given the length of the wire is 1 meter. Pi is 3.141, and the value of radius is 0.005 square, R square that is 0.005 square into extension is your 85. This is 0.85 into 85 minus 10 to the minus 5 mm. So this is your value, and the find the value is just 7.353 into 11 newton per meter square. In this way, different different observation taken up to five. This is up to five values are given. Here, this is your value. After that, the mean should be 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 After us from the above experiment, so this is the experimental value. Putting the value in your graph and of mass and extension, you have to find and check it how it will be extended. You are putting the value of mass and the extension of the y. So here is your mass is given here for x x y axis and mass is taken x axis. So in this way, if you plotted a graph, it will create a line. Means really, if mass increases. The length also extension of length also increases. In this way, we find the graph. If you want in a practically, you have to solve also. This is in a theoretical manner to getting the slope A B C and putting the value of same. That is M G L pi r square L, and you have to find the value of same value of average. That is 83084 into 11 newton per meter square. 
in this way we can observe the experiment and conclude that the value of extension of 1 mm of the diameter of 1 mm of wire is you're getting 8.3084 10 to the 11 newton per meter square deflection that is a young's modulus of apparatus this is the experiment whole experiment you would find it and next video we find another experiment